Are you in the market for a great paint sprayer but aren't sure which model to choose? Both the Wagner Flexio 3000 and the Wagner 3500 are great options for painting furniture. But there are some differences that you may want to consider before making a purchase. Let's start with the similarities. Both models are easy to clean and have numerous adjustable settings that make them great for both experts and beginners. There are enough settings to make a pro happy, but not too many that it's overwhelming. They come with two nozzles, one for walls and fences and one for fine finishes and furniture. I personally have only ever used the detail finish nozzle. They both can spray thick paint without thinning, which is great for those looking for an easy way to paint furniture. But to make your furniture look high end, most paint needs to be thinned out by about 10 to 20% for a fine finish. Check to make sure that your paint can be thinned before you thin it though. One of the biggest differences between the two models is that the 3500 has an on off switch that keeps the motor running for the entire time that you spray. This feature removes the possibility of paint splattering when you start spraying the paint. On the other hand, with the 3000, you have to just pull the trigger halfway back to get the motor to start, and then you can pull the trigger back all of the way to start painting, which takes a little bit of getting used to, but it does prevent any splattering from occurring. Both models have the X-Boost for adjustable turbine settings and three spray patterns, vertical, horizontal, and circular. They are also budget friendly making them affordable options for anyone looking to invest in a paint sprayer. Overall, they are both very easy to use, easy to clean out, and are very portable. You don't have to use an air compressor with either one. They are about as loud as any other tool, and the cord on the 3500 is very short, but both have to be plugged into an extension cord to be useful anyway. So which model will you choose? Honestly, it comes down to your budget what's easiest available for you, and if you're worried about splattering paint at all. Both models are excellent investments for anyone looking to take their furniture painting projects to the next level. I hope this comparison was helpful to you in guiding you towards the right choice for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more of our helpful videos. Not sure what supplies you need for your furniture flip? We got you. Click the link in my comment to download our free list of must-have supplies that we use every day to paint furniture.